Welcome friends to the summer course of BUSI 1307 Personal Finance. I am Randy Sala, Assistant Professor of Business on both the Northeast and Connect campuses of Tarrant County College. And I'll be your instructor for this summer two semester. I want to welcome you to a very, very important class. Majority of Americans, my friends, are living in a personal financial nightmare and are consistently stressed out due to money problems. 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck and are in a sea of personal debt. The average college student is graduating today with somewhere around $40,000 of student loans for their bachelor's degree, $10,000 in credit card debt. Is it surprising to know that 25% of all bankruptcies are filed by those under the age of 28 years old? Wow, what an introduction to a course, right? Hey, that's the bad news. The good news is if we can start directing our money where it needs to go, we can start experiencing a whole new world of financial peace. And with that introduction, I truly hope you're going to enjoy this course more so than that. Be able to take away learning concepts that are greatly going to benefit your relationship with your money. I mean, this class is literally all about you and your money. Nothing else you'll ever take in the college level will ever do this for you. So I'm kind of pumped up about that. So welcome to the course. If you're new to TCC Connect, uh, taking an online course, this is the Canvas learning system. We have are completing our full year on Canvas. We were on Blackboard for many, many years. And so on your left hand side, now this is my view. This is my instructor's view. Uh, because I have dates already set up and I couldn't show you the whole course because uh, we're in uh, June here doing it for our July class. So it's going to look a little different, but everything will just show you what you have. On the left-hand side, you'll have your links and um, you can access this course that way. As we go down right in here, um, your textbook that you'll need for the course was already included in your tuition at an extra charge, obviously, but uh, it is... Kapoor, DeBlay, and Hughes Personal Finance 13th Edition. And if you opted out somehow, if you were, if you knew how to do that, uh, you can just pick up the textbook itself, 13th Edition, or even the 12th would, would, would be fine. Um, here's some of our I, things that, to help us through this course. We have a course syllabus, an organizer. These are your links. We have a required technology statement. Obviously, this is a technology course just because it's online and you do need to have adequate uh, materials and equipment to do this course. So, um, as we are looking at our home course, I'm going to go ahead and jump right to the syllabus and the course organizer. And I've opened those in new tabs. So, here it is. Here's the uh, syllabus right in here. Let me see if I can get that rolling a little bit. Again, you have the textbook. Uh, if you have older editions, if you wanted to find an older edition book, uh, that's fine. I do like the newest editions, however, just because they give you the best information and, and, and the uh, most current. What we're going to do in this course, develop financial goals, a personal money management strategy, understand consumer credit, and understand you know the debt and, and how to get out of debt, my friends. Um, we're looking at home buying, insurance plans, investment and retirement strategies. We're going to try to take a, a case level from college graduation all the way through retirement. It is a fast-paced course. This is summer two. This is what we would call in the academic world the last shot out of a Roman candle. Okay, It's less than five weeks, so you do need to work and be prepared to work very efficiently and effectively. You basically have a little over a week, maybe a week and a half. I'm just kind of thinking that's about it to, to get our units done. So please, friends, uh, I get phone calls all the time. I'm going on vacation for summer and all that. It, you know, if you are not going to be able to do this class, then I suggest you, you just take it in, in another semester. Okay. Um, it's not that hard, but you do have to be able to meet these deadlines and, and they're every week. So, uh, I have everything arranged for you, everything outlined. I've got you a course organizer. Again, I rarely accept late work just because there's just no time, even if I were to give you more time, because we just have another assignment right upon us. So let's, uh, you know, uh, something 
catastrophic happens, let me know as soon as possible, not the day something's due. You know, if you just spend this, about two or three hours a day working on this course, that is reading some of the lessons, your book's already online, read those chapters, complete the written projects, discussion boards, and some of the quizzes, uh, I think you'll be very pleased with the results. Not only that, I think you'll really get to learn this information. Now, obviously, it's a online class, so we do need a really good computer and really good internet access. Um, again, I, I am surprised. Again, I, I, I do have uh, quite a bit of experience in college as a college professor, and uh, I started teaching online o over 12 years ago. So we had very basic, basic uh, learning management systems. Um, I know a lot of students try to do these courses on their phones. It simply won't work, my friends. Phones are not conducive to online at least submission and writing of paper. So you're gonna need a good laptop and uh, good internet, set, internet access at all times. You just, if your internet goes down, those, those aren't excuses in this world because again, we really don't have the time in this semester. I've got a re required technology statement that TCC Connect requires all students to uh, go through. And again, make sure you have good tech. And, and friends, I think that's just something you want for your college career and your career, get the best technology you possibly can. Uh, and so you'll always have, uh, you know, you'll always be on the cutting edge of that because you're gonna need that in your careers. All right, all right. Again, read through your syllabus right in here. Here's kind of how the course looks. Again, fast and furious in these five weeks. I simply record what you've done. That, that's all I do. I don't give you a grade. This course is designed to Whatever grade you want, I think you can earn it. And you have those opportunities right in here. So we have an orientation quiz. This should be done as you are watching this video. That's the next thing you're going to do. I give you 25 points right off the bat. We all have a good start. Once again, I'm always surprised at one or two students who neglect to do that. And at the end of the semester, those 25 points kind of equal two points to your final grade average, like, like the 88 to a 90. And you got to be an 88, so uh, you know I don't I don't give any extra points. An 89 is an 89. That's a B. Okay, so uh, yeah, do all the stuff you can here. We have three quizzes. All right, 25 points apiece. Hey, I give you three attempts on the quiz, my friends, and you, you, so you should get full credit for that. We have five discussion board topics. 20 points. So right in here, these are very 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 doable. This is a written project based course. Just want to get that through. We are writing in this course. So yes, we do need to have very, very good writing skills. And that is a key in the workforce today. I sit on many advisory committees for different organizations. They always want somebody from academia there. And I said, well, hey, you know, what? what's something that uh, we can go tell our students? What's lacking from all sorts of college graduates from bachelor's level to in anything? And the first thing they say are written skills. We are very, very surprised at the written skills, how to put a project together, how to do business writing and formatting. These projects are going to be business writing and business formatting. If you've ever had a class from me before, and I teach several, you'll understand that. And I think this will help you propel you in the reports and the things you're going to write during your career. So we have three of them. They're worth 200 points apiece. These cannot be negated, my friends. If you don't do a project, you're really hurting yourself. Uh, if I didn't do it, I would really hurt myself in this class. It'd be almost impossible to get the grade I wanted to by missing one of these. They're just, they're just uh, again, they're over 30% of the, of the course. So let's get that done. Then again, there are questions you answer, and I have a video just on how to format, how to write, submit it. I do not leave you alone uh, to, to wander around how am I supposed to do my projects. I've got everything covered for you if you'll take advantage of it. Here's your A, B, C. These is what well, gold, silver, bronze. We don't even want to look at those two. We should all be up in these top three right in here. Again, the grade book will show you in right here in um, Canvas. Course organization, three units. First unit, planning your financial future. Unit two, the culture of debt. We also go over purchasing strategies in here. And unit three, investments and completing your financial plan. All nicely wrapped up. I give you lessons, I give you notes, I give you lecture videos too. So again, I've got you covered if you take advantage of it. 
Basically, we have discussion board projects, a written project, and a unit quiz in every of those units. And again, my friends, they're about a week and a half, so we do need to work on it every day. So, good stuff right in here. The orientation quiz will show you how to take a quiz. Um, do we do attendance in an online class? Yeah, we do. And if you've taken one before, then you know that mandatory attendance is basically discussion boards, written assignments, and quizzes. That's the criteria for attendance. Okay? Um, if I don't make one, if I'm in my class and I didn't do it, I get a zero, and I also get an unexcused absence. Once you've missed, uh, I think it's a lot less than five in the summer, it's probably three, you could be dropped from this course. Now, friends, I don't drop students from courses. I think that's your responsibility. Okay? And so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take that on your will. Uh, on your own there, but but let's not let's not let that happen to us. I want you to do well. You have you have the time to commit, do it, and we're gonna enjoy this class. Do well and take lifelong learning with us. Communication, please uh, always check your email. If you have the Google app, uh, you can put the app of Canvas on your phone. It just doesn't work well to start, you know, doing assignments on that. But definitely always have some way on your phone. Where did that just go? Uh, so I can, uh, I'll contact you that way. I do announcements uh, throughout the quick semester of where we are and what we should be doing. So please look at that. Um, I will only respond to the TCC email, either my TCC or your Canvas email. We're trying to merge those together. I've been trying for a year now. It hadn't absolutely worked perfectly. But um, if you do your, your um, Hotmail or your AT&T or... Any other account, I really don't, I really cannot respond to that because I have to respond to everything uh, via your TCC email. That gets us a documented record that emails were sent and received. So uh, let's make that. Put a subject line in there. Put a course, BUSI 1307, summer 2022. Again, uh, this is one way we can start looking at our careers because, again, the advisory committees, people in the workforce, and these are Chamber of Commerce presidents. Uh, executives, presence of companies, uh, are always saying that, you know, sloppy emailing, we, we don't appreciate. Hey, not everyone's a millennial or a zester in the workforce. You have a lot of older people, a lot of boomers, and they require very well-written emails. So have a subject line and uh, tell me exactly, you know, again, where you are, what course, and so I can get to your question very, very fast. I, I do teach a numerous amount of courses. I want to make sure I can get to you very fast. As an online instructor this summer, I will respond to you within 48 hours of your emails during regular business days, okay? Usually faster than that, but hey, sometimes I, I may be out. I'm gonna to try to grade those projects very fast, especially your written projects within four days after the due date. I'll monitor discussion boards and uh, get your quizzes done and things like that. And I'll always try to provide you with announcements and group emails uh, to help your progress. So, whew. Yeah, let's breathe, breathe. You know, if you go back and you've actually read your entire syllabus, and for those of us who do that on the first day, it kind of feels overwhelming, doesn't it? Like, man, you know, what am I doing? Just, just remember, the entire course is not going to be completed in one day. And I have the course, basically, will be, some units will be open faster than others. That is a requirement from our Connect Campus. I simply cannot open the entire course on day one. So please do not email and ask me that. Um, I'm saying because I know a lot of students want to kind of work faster. Just don't worry about that. You got, you're got you going to have the time. You're going to have the time. Just breathe. You know, you don't have to uh, complete everything in life in one day. Just focus on to what's directly in front of you. And basically what's going to be in front of us, we'll have a discussion board, all right, somewhere around one a week. We'll have quizzes. You have three attempts on those. Take all your attempts. Record the highest grade. Written projects. If you if you complete one question a day, then you're going to be in great shape. That's all you got to do. If you try to wait till the deadline to complete your projects, you, you're going to be angry. You know, it's not going to look good at all. You know, just a little bit each day will help. So, I think, and I know a lot of professors will say this, but I think you can take this to the bank, literally. This is the most important class you'll ever take in your college career. Why? Because it's just about you and your finances. As you begin, and we begin, to build positive relationships with money, 
become proactive, build an emergency fund, a healthy credit score, eliminate debt, and systematically invest money for our future, a whole new feeling of our finances. So it's going to be quick. Let's make it a great semester. All right, that is the syllabus. I also have a course organizer. And on the course organizer, my friends, you can download that. Also, your syllabus will tell you everything. But this is a great little document to print out. And it basically tells you where we are, what you should be looking at, your, your, your components, what chapters you should be reading, right, one through five, start knocking those out. And then your discussion board activities, when things are due. So it is fast. We have, a, again, if we have an orientation quiz due the first week, we have a discussion board. That's not a big deal. You know, have fun with us. And then we have our quizzes and our planning our projects that are due basically right about each week. The last unit I give you two weeks on to make it out there. So that is our course organizer. Also, on that home page, the required technology statement. Again, I think it's a good read through. You may not need everything in this course uh, uh, for this, but you definitely need a really good PC or Mac. Now I'm a Mac person. I actually go go I go both ways. Uh, but I would buy if it's the best Dell or best Alienware, buy the best you you possibly can. This is one time in personal finance where I say buy it new and buy the best because I think this is gonna you're gonna take this throughout your career and at least for the next probably uh, three to five years you want the best technology you have great internet service. So read through that as we come back. Um, those are the files right there to our course we've got an orientation quiz so once you've gone over that click that quiz take it as many times as you need to you get 25 points when you say i'm done i think i know it this is like a contract between us so when you say wait a second i, I, I didn't know about that so, well you got uh, 25 points on your orientation quiz so you were supposed to know about that so that's just a nice way to uh to, to get your to get 25 points going and then I have the lesson links right here, all right, for your course. Um, you also can look at your syllabi. Let's take a look at that. Syllabus is just like the orientation quiz, and it's nice because it goes right to the assignment, and it has your due dates right in here. So everything is nicely done. Again, if you want to go ahead and use my course organizer, print it out on your workspace so you have a uh, you know, a tactile view of what's up or always come to here. And once these are gone, these will be shaded. Again, if you've taken a Canvas course, when it's shaded, which means you, you don't, do not have access to it. Friends, quizzes and discussion boards are non-negotiable items uh, for extensions. Uh, so, uh, you know, please, let's get that done. Those, those are, you, you have the week to do that uh, and, and you're fine. And on the quiz, I do give you three attempts. So uh, uh, I think it'll all be real good here. This is your book, boom, McGraw-Hill Connect, okay? So, yay. Um, go ahead and print some of these things out. Uh, uh, now again, you're looking through my area, but when you go right here, it's going to my section, and it's already been paired up. And so you click this link, and of course, I'm going to hit the student view, and it's just the book. I don't have assignments on here. You can start reading your personal finance book and your reader, and this, this works pretty good on a tablet. Uh, so there we go, and I believe there's your table of contents to where you can hit any chapter right in here. I also think if you keep scrolling around and, uh, let me see, noodling some of this together, you can actually buy a hard copy for about $30. Again, the students that have always uh, taken this course have said this is one of the best books I've ever had, and I'll keep this because um, I learned so much on it. I want to learn more about you know stock swap swaps, and the book will go through taxes. We'll go through so many great subjects. So again, um, I was forced to, to to make it online. We we have to do this through the uh, through the TCC McGraw Hill Connect. But they will give you an opportunity to buy one. If not, you can go on eBay or Amazon and, and buy an edition, uh, uh, even 11th or 12th, a little bit, just uh, one edition older for a really good price. It's an excellent book. If for any 
reason when you go through my connect and it says for you to purchase it something went wrong on McGraw Hills end don't panic um, it will basically default for you to do a two-week free trial do the two-week free trial let me know if something happened it's not working and I'll contact McGraw Hill connect and they'll flip it to where it will Sometimes in the start of a new semester, um, you know, anything can go wrong with technology. So if it asks for you to buy it and you did purchase it legitimately through the uh, tuition, um, you can ask for the two-week free trial and then we'll get everything squared away. Uh, that's just a quick workaround there. Also, look at your modules right in here. So as we look at our modules, um, which of course you can also access from the home page, so welcome to planning your personal finances. So I've got a checklist for you. I've got things that you want to want to work on. You always have again orientation quiz, some discussion board activities, a quiz, and our planning our personal finances. You can always hit the next button just to keep going through. I have gone ahead and I have recorded lecture videos for you. These are screen recordings of my PowerPoints that I would do in my regular personal finance class. I'd say my lecture one. And I also have a, a very large PowerPoint. If you want to view that, download it. It's yours. But uh, this is what we go over, and, and most students have said this has been very, very helpful, certainly when I do my projects, but just to learn it, things in a different way. So I've got videos for you. I've got the uh, a PowerPoint that I have. It's basically this giant PowerPoint through the lecture. So if you want to download that and watch it through, feel free to print it out. It's a lot of paper, but hey, uh, it's all for you. These are other notes that you can have too that I have I have for you, and then I got some have some really good websites that you may want to look at, just for personal finance websites. So here is our first discussion board. All right, we're going to introduce ourselves. You can never have enough network, can we? A, a large enough professional network in the global crazy economy that we are in today. So give us your name and college degree that you wish to attain, all right? Tell us what, where you work and what your dream job would be. That's a great way of career development. If you woke up tomorrow and you're in your dream job, what would you be doing? What would it look like? Kind of paint that through and, and uh, see where the goal we're going for. What do you hope by taking this class? What do you hope to achieve? Uh, I get this, uh, I thought a few years ago when Marvel was so cool, but. What is your favorite superhero movie? And if you don't have any superhero movie, what's your favorite movie? Just period. That would be fine too. If I were to go my favorite superhero, it's definitely Deadpool 1 and 2. Big Ryan Reynolds fan. I'm going, you've just been handed a $4,000 gift card. Let's say it's to an uh, Amazon or only for electronics though. That's it. You can't save it. You can't buy food with it. And I wish we could because food's so expensive. This is just for you. Okay, it's a one-time little, uh, little, little gift. Great one. Four thousand dollar card. Any electronic device you want to buy, laptop, phone, gaming camera. What would you buy? All right, I'm taking the new MacBook Pro. Actually, 16 inch, two terabytes SSD, a 32 gig RAM. Actually, I might need to borrow an extra few hundred dollars from somebody to get the what I really, really want. When you're ready to to hit that, you just basically put the reply button. Okay and uh, take a look, you know, you give your response and then as it populates, you respond to at least two other students. Now these are big points here. These are 20 points, so we'll get five of them. There's a 100 point total. 10 points for your response, five points for, 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 for two responses, okay? So there's your 100 points right there. If I just do my own, then I've only got 50% of my uh, grade right here for my discussion board. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to write and then I'm going to write it responded to other students in the class. You can do more than that, but the most you're going to get is 10 points, but it's always good to have other network. Your thoughts, I mean a minimum of 100 words. I probably should put 200 words, but I'll be nice. At least 100 words in the summer and 50 to your responses. Please don't say, hey, dude, man, that's amazing. That's that's going to, I'm not going to give any points for that. Uh, you just can't, okay? Again, uh, let's have some fun with these. This is a business. This is a course. This is not philosophy. We're not critical or argumentative. Uh, once in a while, get a little off there, but rarely does it ever happen. Let's always keep our responses very civil and hospitable towards each other. That's our discussion board. When we come up to the next one, 
This is your quiz. I've got a quiz review for you, so you can download that. 25 points, 60 minutes. You get three separate attempts on these quizzes. Again, uh, it's through units one through five, and I've got your review right there. Make sure we get that done. And project one, planning personal finance. So this is the meat of the course. All right. Um, and we'll, we'll download this. Now I have right in here, uh, I have a video already made up for you. It was made in probably last fall semester. So it doesn't matter. Everything is the same. How to write it, how to format it, how to submit it correctly on Canvas. I also have a grading rubric and example for you. So these are the links. You'll actually download that, that paper and work on it from there, which I would do, but you can also just get a quick look at what the assignment is going to be about. Again, I go over it in depthly right in here. And what we're doing is we're taking a friend of yours who's just graduated college, and you're going to help a friend named Frank all the way through his graduation to retirement. So it's a long, it's a case study, but you'll see these are individual questions. So when I say work on one question a day, yeah, one or two, I mean, and I'm, of course I include weekends on that as well. Uh, you're looking at these through and, and they'll go right through the chapters and, that we are studying. So it's a very good way to look at that. Again, I've got your directions on here, but I also have how to write it and how it should be formatted. This video will go over all of that. I can tell the students who watch the video and who don't. And again, you know, it's going to be based on your grade, uh, uh, how, how, it, how it's going to look, and, and the amount of research that you put into it. These are not one-sentence answers. Uh, this is a college-level course, but again, the more you write, as I've explained in here, the more you do, the better knowledge you're going to have, because every question here is vital to the world in personal finance. And I'll just, I'll just cut to the chase real quickly here. 70% of Americans simply cannot answer any of the questions that I have in this course very well. And so we can give ourselves a huge, what we call leg up in the world of personal finance by just understanding what all of these topics are. So I think it's gonna be really good for you. And of course, tremendous amounts of fun. And then we go into the second module and you're gonna see everything is based systematically just like, just like the one before. We may have a couple extra discussion boards in this one and then we have the test, the quiz, as well as the written project. So in a nutshell, like I say, here it is, summer 2022. The second semester is that last shot out of a Roman candle, and we'll get ready for the fall. Some of you are going to be here at TCC. Some of you are going on. Some of you are graduating. You just need this course. Congratulations on everything that we just said. And I wish you a lot of fun, a lot of luck here. Uh, and again, luck is simply defined. It's when preparation meets opportunity. So my friends, feel free to email me if you have any questions. I think this course is very self-explanatory. It's going to be great. Let's make it a great semester.